Welcome back to Carolina Journal Radio. I'm Mitch Kokai. North Carolina has seen some good news on the economic front in recent years, outperforming its neighbors and national averages, and that has meant good news for the state budget, too. Joining us with a look at the perspective for 2016 is Governor Pat McCrory's state budget director, Lee Roberts. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me here. So we really have seen in the past couple of years better news not only for the economy but also for the state budget rather than dealing with shortfalls and how to how to handle that this last time around there was actually a surplus that has to be a a, a better piece of news to deal with than how you're going to cover the shortfall that's right the the surplus was on top of projected revenue growth so we projected revenue to to grow by about four and a half percent with the surplus it actually ended up growing by more than six percent so that's a much better position to be in than having to deal with a shortfall and what's more remarkable is that that was in the face of significant tax reform that that lowered tax rates personal income tax rates and corporate tax rates across the board so we've got the lowest income tax rates since the 1930s and we still have very strong revenue growth including the surplus as we're moving into 2016 and the budget year that'll run through the end of June in 2016, how are things looking? So it's still early, and last year at this time when we were coming in slightly below projections, I tried to stress to people that you couldn't really tell anything from the first quarter or so of the fiscal year. This year we're coming in slightly above projections, but again, most of our tax revenue comes in February, March, April as individuals begin to file their income tax returns. But at this point, would you uh, rather have the situation where you're running a little bit ahead than running a little bit behind? Or does it really, can you really tell at this point? You'd obviously be rather running a little bit ahead. And and when you try to to break out uh, the, the performance of, uh, of our of our tax revenues, you're really seeing the, the growth and the strength in personal and corporate income taxes. One of the things that's going to be happening as 2016 moves forward is Governor McCrory, with your help and with all the departments uh, and cabinet level agencies will be coming up with budget priorities and things that you want to see North Carolina do in the next budget year. What are some of the things you're thinking about now? So the governor's continued to be very focused on education. We had a significant pay increase for teachers in the in the last budget. Uh, there's a, a continued focus on infrastructure spending, including our Connect, Connect NC bond initiative. And, and the governor wants to continue to make sure that we're putting the right conditions in place to to foster strong economic growth. Government doesn't grow the economy. The private business private business sector grows the economy, but government can put the conditions in place for the private sector to, to flourish. And, and we believe that groundwork's been laid uh, over the first two years of the governor's term, and we'll be looking for ways to continue that growth. You mentioned Connect and see, and we're going to get into some detail on that in just a moment. But before we do, uh, at this point, uh, basically thinking of the, the end of calendar year 2015, be- beginning of calendar year 2016, what sorts of things are you doing to help make sure that you're going to have a budget plan in place in time for for the governor's priority for 2016 well so right now we're in the budget development effort for the short session budget and as you know the short session budget is meant to really just be needed modifications to the budget that we just passed and in the long session obviously that session ran on much longer than average um that budget was just signed and passed at the end of September. And, uh, and, and so we have finished certifying that budget, which is a process the budget office goes through. We now have the uh, challenge of trying to develop the short session budget. And some of the obvious changes that you need to make in the short session are uh, accounting for things like updated enrollment projections, updated Medicaid cost projections. On top of that, I think you will see some some increased focus on, on the governor's key priorities, education, economic growth, continuing to build out our infrastructure. That is the voice of Lee Roberts. He is the director of North Carolina's Office of State Budget and Management, often called State Budget Director. If you'd like to hear what he has to say again, you can listen to the weekly Carolina Journal Radio podcast. It's available at carolinajournalradio.com. You mentioned a little bit earlier the Connect NC project. This is going to be a bond referendum on the ballot for primary voters in March. What is it uh, that the governor is stressing about what ConnectNC would do? So this is the first time we've had a general obligation bond issue 
in 15 years. And we've added about 2 million people in population since then. So our infrastructure needs continue to build up. It's really not a question of when we make, of, of if we make these investments, but when we make them. And right now, interest rates are at historic lows. We're not likely to see rates this low again in the course of our career. So now's the time to address some of that, that built up infrastructure need that we have across the board. The bond proposal is specifically focused on education. So it's a $2 billion bond. You have about half of that going to the UNC system and another $350 million or so going to the community colleges. And those are focused on on uh, STEM projects, science, technology, engineering, and math, making sure that we have the right facilities throughout our system of higher education to build the workforce of the future. Now, the original proposal, as the governor put it forward, had about uh, half for infrastructure projects and about half for transportation projects. The General Assembly made some changes. Is Governor McCrory still pretty comfortable with what's going to be on the ballot and the need for voters to fund these things? Governor's obviously strongly in favor of, of what's going to be on the ballot and, uh, and, and believes it's critical to, to addressing our pressing infrastructure needs. With respect to transportation funding, you're, you're correct. We wanted to, to address that with the bond proposal as well. What the General Assembly did and what the governor signed does direct significant additional money, about $340, $350 million a year in new money into, into the highway system. And so that certainly helps. Now, from your vantage point, a person who's working specifically on the budget and uh, making sure the governor's priorities get translated into that budget, how does a bond package affect what you're doing? Does that make things uh, easier, more difficult, hard to say until uh, we know what the voters do? Well, we spent a lot of time uh, in the in the long session making the case for the bond proposal and and, uh, and, and, and trying to shepherd it through the, the General Assembly, working with both houses to explain what we had proposed, why we had proposed, convincing them that this does not in any way affect our debt affordability, our debt capacity, will not require new taxes given how quickly we're paying off our existing debt. It's now really in the hands of, of the referendum campaign. We can uh, do things like I'm doing now, go out and talk about the, uh, the effort to um, uh, to make these investments, but there's a there's a campaign being run separately from uh, f from the government to to get the bond passed in in March. In the the brief time that we have remaining, as you look ahead to 2016, based on where we were last year, based on what the numbers are showing you now, you're fairly well confident that we're in, in pretty good shape in North Carolina, or is it still too hard to, to say where things stand? Look, we have challenges like everybody else, but I can't think of another state whose position I'd rather be in, in terms of the diversity of our economy, the uh, the strong inward migration that we continue to see that uh, that supports our economy across the board, and, and we're really seeing growth in just about every uh, every economic sector, every every part of our labor force is seeing job growth with one exception, and that's the government sector. And so if you're going to have a broad-based economic recovery, that's the way you'd like to see it look. That is the voice of Lee Roberts, director of North Carolina's Office of State Budget and Management. He'll be uh, following very closely what's happening with budget numbers and with the bond package in 2016. Thanks so much for joining us. Mitch, thank you for having me. And we'll have more on Carolina Journal Radio in just a moment.